It's Sunday. It means we got some Italian going down. Some chicken cutlets. We're gonna throw vodka sauce in the pan. Get it rolling. Fresh mutts. We're gonna do some sandwich garlic bread all online. But before we do that, we got one thing to do. I'm not much of a white type of guy, but we're changing it up today. Okay. How are you gonna cook some Sunday dinner? One to cook, one for the meal. That's how it goes. It's basic physics. It's from New Zealand, too. I don't know how I feel about that, because we're Italian over here, but fuck it, maybe they got good one. Which glass? I got some fancy-ass glasses here. This one's got like weird-ass pin tricks. All right, so let's dive in. I got everything set up here ready. Um, I see my ass knocking these over, so I'm pausing them in the back. I got my chicken breast pre-sliced. I got a whole array over here. Now that you schmoes low, know what you, you're looking at here. Egg mixture with a little milk, breadcrumbs seasoned. You're, you're not gonna choose anything other than 4C. I don't know, is that the brand, 4C? Yeah. 4C breadcrumbs, if that's just what you do. Flour, of course, some grated parm, okay? I'm throwing some grated parm in my breadcrumbs, to, to make sense. You want the fine stuff, you want it to blend, you want it to mix. You gotta know how to handle Parmesan too. You handle it gently, delicately. What's the whole deal with the wet hand, not wet hand? You gotta go in order, right? Some moistness on them right now. So we're going straight into the flour, okay? Coat it nice. Boom, right into the egg mixture. Get it a nice light coat. Now you hit it breadcrumbs. Fucked up, I think that's why I used the dry hand. I don't know. Really get in there. Treat this with some love. We're gonna let everything sit on this plate for a little bit. Let the breadcrumbs grab. We don't wanna let them, you know. Let them catch, let them catch. Um, then you can just go through everything, all six of them. Simple, easy. So I got my trusty stainless steel. Ever since I went to this Airbnb like last week for my show in Pittsburgh, and they only had like the stainless steel stuff, and I'm like, damn, everything just sticks to this. Blah blah. Long short, made the best chicken in my life. Airbnb chicken forever changed my life. Okay, so I'm using stainless steel stuff to cook from now on. Uh, I see a lot of people saying it's the best anyway, so. You should be using it, but some extra virgin. Extra virgin, extra virgin, extra virgin. Sounds like a lot of you guys. Extra virgin olive oil, get in the pan. Heat the pan up a little bit. Be generous, man. We're making chicken cutlets, bro. Be generous. You know what's bizarre? This is my first time making chicken cutlets in all my life. Yeah, mom's always made them. And I, you know what, I was never mad. Grandma, Mima, mom, chicken cutlets, phenomenal. Phenomenal, I always made them, I was never mad. I was happy. Let them cook them. But it's time for a takeover, okay? Somebody else could do it better. Somebody else is me. You respect the hustle, you respect the drip, but you gotta respect the sh I want this hot. I want the... That's how I want it. So we should be good. These chicken cutlets have been sitting for a, probably a solid 10 to 15 minutes now, which is what we want. Give you one piece of advice. If you don't rub your fork across the side and you gotta, you know, you don't hear metal on metal, you did it wrong. You did it wrong. Shouldn't be breaking off metal on metal and you're golden. You're golden. You gotta hear that. Listen. It's not just about the taste. You gotta hear when you cook. You gotta be one with it. It's an all around game. So we're moving on to the garlic bread now. We have a whole stick of butter, about a quarter cup of parsley, maybe a little less. Italian parsley, keep it Italian, keep it pure, keep it traditional. Um, what else is in there? About five cloves of garlic we threw in there. Um, seasons and spices, what are we doing? Uh, garlic powder? No? Yeah, why not? It's garlic bread, garlic powder. And then we're gonna melt it up and we're gonna put it on the bread. Simple. Never used one of these before. Brand new. So I um, don't know how they work. It's oozing out. I it's stringing out. Strength. It's working. You're there. It's coming out like fucking cream. That's blasting out now. Push. Push. Is what it is. You don't always win, guys. Ooh, that one was nice. All right, I threw a pot of boiling water on the stove. Pasta's got to get going. You know how we're doing. Uh, here's where you got to be a man, okay? Here's where you got to be true to yourself and pure. 
Parmesan. We need this for the vodka sauce. I'm prepping everything for the vodka sauce right now, okay? I got myself about a fifth of an onion. Lighting's kind of off there. Uh, two to three cloves of garlic. A little bit of fucking parsley on that thing. But the Parmesan, the Parmesan cheese, the half cup of Parmesan. You're gonna be a bitch, you're gonna get some real Parmesan. Do it yourself, okay? So, I don't know how the shredder's gonna work. I might be a bitch today. Am I gonna, am I gonna, Parmesan's tough, man. Wow. I have an actual cheese shredder back there. My gadget failed me. I think I need a bigger bowl. I'm not gonna stop though. Alright, now I'll stop. I got a half cup on the table. I got a half cup on the table right now. Poppy's a little short, but hold on. If you want my honest opinion, my forearms are just smoked. Oh my gosh, gondolam, mamma mia. What the f. What a shame. Half a cup of fresh Parmesan, okay? Fresh. The pasta's boiling, we're gonna dump some of this in there. Yes, the moment. How do you forget the most important part? Salt. What the fuck? Okay, we're going with an Italian Get bread. This out of here. What is it? The glass cleaner, that's. <laughs> I think Italians all clean glass with the same glass cleaner too. These are what you want to see for garlic bread. You want this, okay? Stop it with the bullshit bread. Stop it. Stop it. We're gonna need a bigger pan. A bigger bowl and a bigger pan. Fuck. Give them a quick look at that. Give them a quick look at the bowl. Let them see that. Let them see that. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Put a kiss on that thing. That looks just phenomenal. They say to coat one side, but what the f would you be doing if you did that? Coat both sides. Give it a light coat on one side at least. We're gonna lather these things up. We're gonna toss them in the oven. 400, they said 450. Fuck that, 400 for like 10 to 12 minutes. We're doing a lot of stuff. The time is good. You can always underdo it, but you can never take back the overdo. All right, let's get rolling on the sauce. I'm using the same pan from the chicken. I got a little bit of olive oil in there still. It's not over there. That should be good. We're gonna bring this down to a lower heat now. Okay. We got onions going in. Oh, make me cry. Damn it. Put tears in my eyes. Ah, shit. Got a little bit of two garlic cloves. Got a little new garlic gadget that squeezes it out. So let's, let's rip it. Eh, not bad. It kind of like mushes it up a little bit. I think it's cool. Anything new, I think it's cool. I've seen people say using the same pan is cool. It adds like the flavor, whatnot. I'm gonna let that simmer for a little bit. Just let it sit, let it marinate, let it cook. Tomato paste. Throw it on in. About two thirds of a cup. Full handle to the dome, right in the pan. <coughs> Don't forget about it. Just kidding. Three tablespoons. That shit's strong. Tastes like, whoop, that's rubbing alcohol. Oh my God, I'm high as fuck. Wow. You're gonna stir this about two to three minutes, deglazing the pan. But you really wanna cook the alcohol out too. Um, not that it's much, but it's enough. You want this to be a nice bright red. You want it nice and bright, all right? That's where you wanna be. You just wanna get in there and stir. Mix the pot, mix it up, stir it up. Bob Marley, come on and stir it. You like that one? She's over there back there, taking selfies back there right now. Damn, it's getting hot, man. Really, my apron can come off. Not the whole thing. It's not that type of fucking thing. You can take the whole thing off. I want to see the whole thing taken off. Oh, shit. We got our one cup of heavy cream. We're going to get that in there now. The time has come. I believe we need two tablespoons of butter. They say unsalted, I only got salted, sorry. Accept it. We're gonna reduce the heat down now to a medium low. You wanna mix gently. We should see this start to change in color soon. Oh yeah, that's the vodka color you want. It starts off really light and then you gotta just keep mixing. You guys gotta really trust and believe in God on us. All right, so we got a nice color here. We're gonna throw the cheese in now. Half cup of palm. Stir this in. 
This is gonna add a little bit more thickness now. Here's what we're working with. See the consistency we got? We're just gonna stir. We're gonna keep stirring, keep stirring, until we get something good that we like. making this a little bit cheesy so we're throwing some mozzarella in there we're just gonna kind of let it break up it's soft we've had it sitting at room temperature a little more on that can't go wrong with mutts how are you gonna go wrong with mutts let's get this back on the heat let's give it a stir this way nothing's stuck perfect we're getting that cheese to melt that's a cheesy palm right there oh my gosh pasta water in the sauce. I think a little a little bit of heavy cream will soften this out. Man. <laughs> Let me do one more for you guys. this off the heat. I'm going to take the pasta out. We're going to strain it, drain it, paint it, gain it, whatever the hell you want to say. We're going to strain that, get that in the bowl. We're going to get some sauce on top of that. We're going to keep sauce in the reserves because uh, why not? Look at this, man. That's a cheesy box. That's all right. We're going to save some in the reserves. That's phenomenal. 